I'm going to make some kimchi, so I thought I would bring you along while I do it. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is wash everything, of course, but before I do that, I'll show you what I need. I need one large Napa cabbage. I need about two tablespoons of salt. Now, this is a large cabbage. Ordinarily, I would use for a smaller cabbage one tablespoon of salt, but I think I'll use two this time. I need fish sauce. I need whey. Now, I don't think whey is a part of the traditional recipe, but it is a part of mine. I will need carrots, a radish, green onions, garlic, and ginger. I uh, chop my ginger in the food processor, freeze it into little balls, I guess, or piles, and take it out as and when I need it. I will also need Korean pepper flakes. Let's get washing our ingredients and I'll bring you back when I have everything chopped up. I'm doing things a little differently this time. I usually put my radish, my garlic, and my carrots in the food processor. I'm not doing that this time. Uh, I'm just chopping. I kind of don't want to get out the food press up processor. I don't feel like it. When I do the garlic, I'll chop it really small. So anyway, I'm almost done grating this radish. Now I did something differently this time as well. I did not chop my cabbage. I just ripped it apart because I find after the process of pounding and wilting, it becomes really small anyway. So, uh, you know, thought I would do it differently this time. So I'll bring you back when I add my other ingredients. I'm now gonna add my ingredients. I'm gonna start with my whey. Now for cabbage, I would use a quarter cup of whey. Well, I'm using a very large cabbage, so let's see. That's a half a cup of whey. Let's just pour that on. As I said before, I think, I use one tablespoon of salt per cabbage. I'm doubling my salt today because I've used a very large cabbage. I'm now going to pour in some fish sauce. As for proportions, I would just say, that's enough. A dash. And now for the Korean pepper flakes. There. I will probably add more. For now, this is what I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna give this a mix up. I definitely want to use gloves for. Just going to incorporate all the ingredients. And after I do that, um, I have some other things to do. I'm just gonna let this wilt, and then I'll begin pounding it a bit before I put it in jars. So, you know, in addition to just mixing all the ingredients up, I'm making sure everything gets coated with the salt I added and the Korean pepper flakes. Again, I will add more pepper flakes um, later on. I'm gonna walk away from this for a while and I'll bring you back when I start pounding it with my rolling pin. Okay, so I'm back and this is beginning to wilt. I am gonna add some more pepper flakes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to begin the process of pounding it. 
When this wilts enough, I'll put it into some jars. I think it will probably take more than one jar. So I have a very large jar and a smaller jar I will use. So. Again, it will look a little different than my other kimchi because I did not grate my carrots. Pepper flakes, that might be enough. I'm gonna pound this a bit more. And I'm gonna let it wilt a bit more as well. Here we go. So I'll bring you back when I'm putting this in the jars. The kimchi here has been wilting. And let's take a look at it. There. So I would say this is ready to go into the jars. Um, and as you see, I just want to point out, it's creating its own brine. So let's get putting it in the jars now. I have two jars. I have this large jar. So I'm just going to put it directly in my container here. Now I'm finished using the rolling pin, so I'm going to put that in the sink. Put our canning funnel in. And just begin to drop the kimchi into the jar. I want to get as much into this jar as I can get. You know, I do have the other jar on standby there, and I think I will be using it. Maybe even a smaller jar, who knows. Let's see. So I'm now going to get the pickle packer and press it down. Okay, see the brine that's forming? Look at all that brine. And yes, I did put a half a cup away, but most of this is brine, of course. There. Now, I don't think I'm going to fill this more than this. I'm going to start filling the new jar, okay? So let's just take that out. And here's the small jar. What I'm going to do is put that on the counter, because you won't be able to see it. Great. Let's put our canning funnel there. Great. Here we go. Look at that brine. Just perfect. Excellent. So this is how much kimchi I got. I'm going to leave this on the counter for two to four days, most likely three. What's going to happen with this, it will raise and some of the brine will come out. So. I will leave it on the counter on top of a cloth or I will leave it on my stainless steel, you know, drying rack beside my sink. So we're going to put the caps on, not tight, just on like that and that way the air can come through um, and I won't have to worry about explosions or anything. Try kimchi. It is full of beneficial bacteria and yeast. It helps keep your gut in balance and it is very healthy. So there you go. This is my way of making kimchi.